but what you sold this base to a calf? Yeah, it's three layers. Three fucking layers of this. Look, watch you go up the ladder. And there's this layer. All for sugarcane? Yep. Huh. And I know that stuff sells for a lot up in the mall, people don't realize. Yeah, and then there's this layer. Holy shit. Alright, I'm gonna transfer all my money over from my alt and then I'm gonna go to the town. I'm gonna buy a whole bunch of shit. I'm gonna set home here too. So yeah, this I is so you're just like gonna basically give it th me this farm so I <laughs> Uh, so I'm not so pissed off at people constantly searching for my bases. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know why. Where do you usually build your bases? Like, I just wander like a couple hundred out, and then I'm like, okay, this should be good. And then like, like a lot of times, I, like hit the border, and then I keep walking a little ways, and then yeah, and then I just like set up shop there. Okay, guys. So I showed you that that base. Basically, people tend to try to find me a lot. So one of my friends has a very well hidden base and he basically just said, well, it's basically been abandoned because I moved to a bigger one. If you want to use it, it's a pretty good place to hide out. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go buy all my own sugar cane and that one's all out. So it's pretty much a sugar cane place, which actually I do know something. I've learned a little something over this time. I'm spending all of my money. Let's see here. Slash money. Okay, I've got $300 left. I should probably buy some food with that and maybe two seeds couple seeds actually so I'm gonna get a little farm going too so I can have a little food uh, I might make my own shop I shall put more information about that later um, so we I need food oh there's food at the main spawn area I'm gonna head up there next level farming this place is so big oh my god there's no way I'm even gonna get close to filling this place so I'm gonna try to do this cuz hopefully this base will be incognito enough it is really far out Hopefully, I will be able to actually basically just take what's ever grown off this, plant, replant it, and expand a little bit, and then start selling it. Now, inside the spawn, there is an area where you can actually sell some of. You can sell ten sugar for four hundred and seventy. I'll show you guys that real quick, actually. So now that I'm done planting, I don't have anything on me, so if I die, it's no biggie. And I'm heading on up. Okay, so all what you do is you're going to head into the mall area. So here's the spawn, take a right, and here's some shops. We're going to actually head across here. And that's the restrooms and drug area. Okay, cool. So what that is, is you can sell, oh, 64 sugar sells for 470. My bad. That's still quite a bit of money. It might be more in the sewers, yes, because that is. Let me let me pull out a calculator real quick just to make sure. Never mind. If you can actually sell 64 for 470, it's a much better deal to come here, because that is seven. That is like seven dollars per crop, rather than in the sewers it's 2.1 because they give you 21 for 10. So a little math there. I I pulled out a calculator because so much of my math has been like, oh, you've got to move the decimal place lately, and it's like, oh my god, fail. So then I, I just I pulled out the calculator and I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this right. It's actually a nice day out here. There's a hospital? Let's go check out the hospital. Stand inside and heal slowly. I did not know that this was here. Whenever I'm being a cheap asshole, I'll make sure to come here. Alrighty, guys, so I've just been chopping down the plants. They're going pretty well. I've just been watching TV, plant, chopping down the crops, and uh, replant them. And so far, nobody's fucked up my shit. I love this base. I think one of my issues was that whenever I'd leave spawn I'd head out in the direction that spawn basically orients you and that doesn't really allow you much room to really try to get out so I think if I were to head a different direction I'd have a lot more success because the way that spawn is situated is it's closer to one side if you actually look at the coordinates so that way if you were to head out in the direction you wouldn't really be able to go that far so I think because I remember hitting that wall a lot so I think if you were to head the exact opposite direction, you'd go much farther and you'd be in much less populated area. So there's that. Look at this. I almost have a full row. No, not even close. Never mind. Okay, guys. So I'm making tools in the background or in between, basically, times when I'm just running around collecting it. I've also been AFKing a little bit. And let's see here. Grab some more sugar cane. 
I think I've almost about got a full row. Oh my god. I think I'm one off. Oh no. Gosh dang it. Okay, sugarcane is now my official favorite thing to farm. It's just so easy. And this shit grows actually really fast. As you guys can tell, I've been going AFK every for about the last couple hours. And all I've been doing is coming back and just harvesting and then just replanting. And my farm is now actually getting pretty damn big. And mind you, there is three layers actually on this space. But I think I'm pretty much going to stick to one because I am too lazy to try to fill up three layers. I have done it. I filled up an entire layer. <laughs> Only several hours of my life gone. Yay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So if they frisk me with just the plant, with just the cane, I'm solid as long as I don't turn into the cocaine until I'm at the shop? Yep. Damn, that's real. Okay, under the advice of my friend, what you do is you do not change it into cocaine originally. Now, I could go to the sewers right now and try to do it through there. But that doesn't make much sense because actually if you try to sell it here in the mall, you'll make more money. So let's go find one over here. So typically it's sugar sells for, oh, okay, here's a crafting table. Sugar typically sells for uh, 2.1 a piece. If you go down the sugar, it's 21 for 10. Now here, hopefully, if I sell these 64 sugar, you can't buy here. Okay. Oh, there we go. So there we go. I sold it to him just by left clicking. And that said 400, uh, that sold for 470. That is seven for each. That is almost three times the sewer. And the funny part is that this is supposed to be like the office area. The mall is supposed to be where like the legit people actually go. So I'm about to make almost 2K. That is ridiculous. I love my new farm. Although this one guy did find it, and he was just like, oh, hey, what's up, bro? Oh, I'm right now incognito as well. Let's see how much money I have. 1,698. All right, guys, so I just sold my second shipment. And as you guys can tell, seven grand. All right, let me see how much it is to upgrade to grower. All righty, guys, so it has reached that point that I've been stacking up the dollar bills, and now I'm up to 16K. It's definitely not late at night. And I'm going to do rank up, and now I'm a grower. So now since I'm a grower, what I'm going to do is I'm going to protect the chest area over here. And then besides that, I can also make up a shop in the downtown area, which I'll show you guys. Look at this. Congrats, Petri. Party. Yeah. That's a lot of people, actually. So I type in slash PS on. Yep. Enable placing. Okay, I placed it. So now my chests are protected. Yep, they're all protected. Okay, sweet. Thanks. So what I just did, guys, is it's actually a mod that they have. It's called like protection stones or something like that. In essence, you just place that, you type slash ps on, you place a obsidian block in the middle. You do have to be a grower. And what that'll do is that'll protect a five by five area that's one thick. So all these chests are now protected. All right, time to buy my own shop. Let's see here. One day remaining. One day remaining. One day remaining. One day remaining. Okay, well here's one. It's 250. That's not too much cash. So there we go. Bought it. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Cool. So everything inside of it's protected, correct, Senor? Yep. Yep. Okay. So what are you gonna be selling or buying? <laughs> Drugs. Duh. All right. So I'm buying some bread from this guy. But since people tend to fucking cluster fucking bug me, I'm hiding in the men's bathroom. That guy's retarded. Don't worry about it. <laughs> He's like, meet me at the shop. No, it's a cluster fuck there. We meet at spawn. Yeah. Whoa, you've got a trade plug-in? Yeah. How do I put up money? So, did he offer the bread? Yeah. How many bread did he offer? The two stacks, like I asked for. So, how much are you going to pay for it? 400. How, how do I do that? So, you press E to get out of the chest, and then type in slash trade offer, and then the amount of money you want. That is the most baller ass shit ever. 
Alright, and then, uh, to, like, to check if the bread is still there, do slash trade show. And if it's still there, get out of the chest again and do slash trade ready. And even if he does try to scam you, like, if he does that, we we'll got, I got it. Dude, that's awesome. That is such a... Okay, because I was, like, scared to meet him at my shop because I was afraid I was about to get, like, cluster fucked by a bunch of people. So if I just wanted to trade with somebody, how would I do that? Just do slash trade space name? Slash trade uh, invite name. Okay. That's very cool.